to give us the overall take as to what app this really stunned people the, the with the chairwoman resigning yeah so Wu resigned over the weekend and she was once the most prominent billionaires in China's property market she founded this private developer loan for and it still today it was still considered one of the and and remember it's it's the last one of the last standing developers that has an investment grading um, in China um, among the private well, one ones. of the more respected ones if you will exactly. one that was seen as more sound financially speaking yes Yes, and Loan4 has just recently sold a 1.5 billion yuan guaranteed bond, and it told the investor um, actually just this month that it's planning to sell more. Uh, Loretta, how, what does it say about the outlook for the real estate industry? Is there reason to be optimistic? Um, well, I think the the recognition of Wu, you know, she's citing health reasons, but whatever reason it actually is, it really is a signal of a loss of confidence for the broader property market. Lofor has reported actually still stable um, earnings. Um, it's, 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 um, I think it's home sales are slumping alongside the broader market, um, but, but it's, it's already fared better than most of its private uh, developer peers. Um, I think the worry here is that the cash flow situation in the company in, into next year will continue to worsen. It doesn't have any near-term debt payment pressure, but it's very hard to say for 2023. And that really signals the entire outlook for the Chinese property market into next year. Yeah, and Loretta, I mean, you know, the resignation here, comes against the backdrop, you know, City just put out a note saying that, you know, they look like the liquidity concerns are overdone here. They've got a strong balance sheet. They're talking also about how this uh, company has, uh, you know, third quarter gross sales uh, as well, doing okay here. So it does seem a bit counterintuitive. Yeah, I think in a way, if you're looking at, again, the near term, they don't have any imminent pressure. But remember that, uh, you know, coming into 2022, at the beginning of the year, nobody expected stronger developers uh, such as Sifi Country Garden would run into, you know, the kind of pressure in the market as we're seeing. Sifi has recently just defaulted on a convertible bond. So it's really hard to predict, even though in the near term, um, it seems like the, country, uh, the, the company's financial situation is stable. It's hard to say for, for the next year.